Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Policy Outdoors. Today we're twisting things up a little bit and trying something different, something we've never done before. We're going out with guys that don't know anything about us or anything about our product. Now, you've seen us travel all over the United States doing crappie fishing with our live chartreuse and gold fire dye minnows. Today we're in Louisiana with two local legends. These guys know everything from Shreveport all the way to Jackson, Mississippi. And guess what? They've never seen or used our product. So we're gonna come out here today, we're gonna dye bait for them give it to them and let them try it against their normal shiners and see how we do here in northern Louisiana. Okay, so we're getting ready to do our fire dyed minnows up here this morning. We're going to do uh, chartreuse and gold. We got two buckets here. Uh, make sure to keep an aerator on these minnows because with this little amount of water, any minnow is going to die quick. We have 16 ounces of water, one bottle of fire dye. So we're going to hit our chartreuse first. Take the Okay, now we're going to hit our gold. Now we're just going to do a fairly quick soak with these. We'll let them sit for about a half hour before we start fishing them. And should have all the color, all the color we want. We'll transport them into a bucket of clean water. All right, everybody, we're fishing with fire dye chartreuse on minnows. Seriously, I mean, it's like playing dress up with your minnows. We're going to see if we can catch some crappie with them. I'm a little skeptical right now, so. We start loading the boat, we'll tell you where to get it. We're fishing today at Lake Bistano, just outside Shreveport, our home lakes, Lake Darbone. We had to do a little switch and I, I swore I'd never come fish here because Darbone is so good. But my partner Mark wore on me until I finally came, so tell them why we came. I've been in this lake uh, four times, two times I caught a 100 limit. It's 50 a person here in uh, North Louisiana. And uh, third time me and my wife come out here and we caught a good mess. Uh, we can get out of the wind here. It's like it's basically just a huge creek. Lake Darbone, more more of an open lake. Uh, wind would have beat us to death. Uh, we can still catch them, but uh, uh, our crew here would have probably been uh, pretty miserable. So it is a good fish right there. Oh, that's a beast right there. That's a beast right there. Is it? You gonna be in a boat clip? I'm about to be unhooked. I can't. All right. Ooh. Oh, no. oh, oh, keep him in the boat. <laughs> Welcome to Louisiana. Oh, go, go, go. Get him, get him, get him. Oh. Double, double. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. oh, my gosh. Oh, knocked out by the net. Get him over here. Shoot, Holy. ain't no getting them over here. We got one. I can't move. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of him. Oh. Number two. Oh. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a good one. Oh. Look at the size of that slab. Beast. That fire die is on fire. Look at these deviling up. Woo! Wow. I want to tell you a little bit about what we're fishing with. Uh, we choose to fish with Jinko Slab City rods. We fish spider trolls too on heavier weights, but these rods are the most sensitive rods on the market when it comes to double minnow rigging, and that's one of the things we're doing. We use our Jinko double minnow rigs. Today was awesome with these. Uh, dyed minnows, something we've never tried. I had to eat a little crow because I said there's no chance those things are going to work any better than the regular minnows, but we got another team out here that's been struggling all day just using a regular minnow, so we're pretty impressed with how those how those fish bit and reacted to those colored minnows. The other thing we're using, six pound test. It's our preference. Many people choose 10 pound test, but the six pound test we feel gives us the sensitivity when we're fishing 
in in all areas. It's the most all around, I guess, best size that we found for using for chasing crappies. So hopefully you'll see that this setup gives us a, a sensitive bite with our double minnow rigs and it just helps us locate fish and catch them. And that's what we're trying to do. And anybody can uh, buy these or Jinko double minnow rig. You just bust open pack. It's got a three-way swivel. You tie your main leader on the top of that swivel and you're ready to go. It's got two hooks and a weight in the middle. And uh, simple, anybody can do it.